Today's tutorial is on simplifying fractions to their simplest form. Remember, a fraction in its simplest form is if the numerator and denominator have a greatest common factor of 1. So there's two ways you can simplify a fraction. The first way is using your knowledge of greatest common factor. So let's say we have a fraction 12 eighteenths. I'm going to look at the 12 and the 18 and see what the greatest common factor of those two numbers is. The greatest common factor for 12 and 18 is 6. So I'm going to divide the numerator by 6 and divide the denominator by 6. Because remember, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. I have reduced my fraction to the simplest form, and it is 2 thirds. Let's try this with a bigger fraction. Let's say you have a fraction 28 60 thirds. I look at 28 and 63 and I'm able to figure out that their greatest common factor is 7. So I divide the numerator by 7 and I divide the denominator by 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 63 divided by 7 is 9 and my fraction in simplest form is 4 ninths. The other way you can simplify fractions is using your knowledge of prime factorization. So let's take our original fraction 12 eighteenths again. I can look at both numbers and do the prime factorization for each of them. So the prime factorization for 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factorization for 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Now, I'm going to cross off any numbers that the two are, have in common. So both of them have a 2, both of them have a 3, so what I'm left over with is 2 over 3. So my final reduced fraction is 2 thirds. Let's take our other example, 28 60 thirds. When I do the prime factorization of 28, I end up with 2 times 2 times 7. When I do the prime factorization of 63, I end up with 3 times 3 times 7. Now here, the only numbers they have in common are the 7. So I look at the 2 times 2, that's 4. I look at the 3 times 3, that's 9. And I'm left with my fraction in simplest form, 4 ninths. And those are the two different ways you can simplify fractions.